How's it going everyone? So today we will be talking about defending alright so um, I, th I believe ever since the engine update right a lot of people have been complaining about the defending like uh, they are conceding goals for free it's impossible to defend etc etc so today what I'm gonna do is um, I'm gonna teach you guys how I go about doing my defending okay the way I defend is I believe I'm um, different from most people I actually picked this up uh, while I was doing my research on how to defend prior to the big impact engine update and uh, it, it, it is supposedly a method of defending that was that is um, uh, employed by the so-called pro players so I've tried it out then and ever since I've been using it has been uh, very very effective for me now a few things to take note here uh, in order for my defending method to work right what you need to do first is not to commit okay um, you cannot rush into tackle have to be patient and secondly uh, I don't use a lot of the Q button basically is the, the ask for your second defender help that function I don't use a lot of that and um, the third thing is uh, it will never work with a sweeper system now let me maybe just take a couple of minutes to talk about sweeper system so uh, a lot of people are using sweepers uh, personally I don't like to use sweepers I've discussed this with my club members and um, uh, some of them in fact most of them uh, agree that when you use a sweeper system it really disrupts your defensive patterns because if you realize when you have a sweeper uh, in the team right your other defenders will basically just run all over the place to try and uh, rush into tackle so it might potentially leave a lot of spaces behind and um if you realize against the very good players when you have a sweeper system right your defending line or your defending position is really really deep you know you are sometimes standing just in front of your own goalkeepers and that is basically inviting pressure um, the way I go around countering people with sweepers is to go via the wings and cross the ball in so that has been effective for me so in order to to be able to use my defending system you want to avoid using the sweepers so I've been thinking about how to do these defensive guides and initially I was thinking about doing uh, via highlights but then I think I, I thought it wasn't fair because uh, I can actually just show you the best of my defending so it, it wouldn't be really fair so I've decided to go and show you guys and walk you through guys a full match that I had recently and um, just to show you how I defend you know the mistakes that I made um, things that uh, I did well and the, the way I positioned the my, my defenders um, so before we go into the full match right i just want you guys to take note that uh, as you are watching this peel your eyes um, away from the ball okay look at the players i am controlling i'll you i'll be using my mouse cursor to guide you along but most importantly you want to be looking at the player that i'm controlling rather than where the ball is going and uh, many a times you will realize that i will i hardly ever control my defenders okay the goal here is to maintain the back four uh, rather than making them run out of their defensive position so don't, most of the time I'll either control my uh, midfielders or my wingers um, so that is the, the main introduction that I'm, I'm just gonna say just most important thing look at the player I'm controlling so with that uh, let's now go into the actual full gameplay that I'm going okay so now this is the um, full game highlight so before I start the playback I just want to give you a, you guys a little tip before the opponent kick off right always bring a player back to act as a sweeper in this case I'm bringing I will be bringing my drop bar back as a sweeper because as you know some players they like to high through straight off kick off and it normally result in a one-on-one -on -one. so this is my way of countering and it has proved useful for me so I'm giving you guys this tip so right now let's go into the uh, full gameplay it's going to be fast and furious so uh, my talking might be a little bit too fast so anyway look at how I control I'm only controlling PK throughout the whole attack you see it's all PK I don't I'm not controlling my Marcelo I'm not controlling anybody it's just PK I'm trying to block off the path I'm trying to uh, intercept but of course I didn't do well this time as you can see he breached my PK and uh, basically he had a chance to shoot so the only time when I'm controlling my uh, the only time when I'm controlling my defenders is when either they have breached my midfield and basically and I have no chance of recovering 
or when um, they are on the wings then I'll use my full backs to I'll control my full backs to press or when they are in my box and that is when I press all the cues and tackle and try to get the ball okay so other times I will just use my midfielders to press or my strikers okay as you can see in my uh, in this full game play so you look at the way he defend okay he, this guy is going to come in you see this guy is coming in and basically just leave my Iniesta open so when you either press Q or you manually defend with your defenders it is going to leave your attackers open okay look at how I use spring back with my Ronaldo okay now uh, maybe just let me pause a bit here so just now as you can see right here once my attack break down right what I do is I will take one player it could be my DM it could be my striker I don't care I will spring back with that player back to the midfield position to store time and wait for others to come back okay this is very very useful for me I hope you guys will, will find this useful look at uh, the whole gameplay once I lose the ball I take my Ronaldo and I spring back all the way you see I, I don't even care where the ball is I just spring back and of course he high throughs and this is the point where I sense danger okay and that is why I control my Ramos because he's basically countering me and it's way too fast already so I can't really do much so my Ramos makes a mistake I start spamming Q right here and tackle and then I win the ball back finally and then after that it's my turn to counter so Jera on the ball and then um, look at okay take, take a look right here look at the way he defend okay uh, take a look right here I think it was about here okay so once I win back the ball okay I'm right here my Jera's on the ball okay now take focus on this defender okay he's gonna get sucked in and try and defend my drop bar and that is going to leave my Robin open this is the consequence of defending manually okay look at this this defender's got to get sucked in tries to tries to tackle my drop bar unsuccessful and Robin is open okay at this stage I can cross I can cut there I can do a lot I got acres of space so that is the uh, that is the disadvantage of trying to defend uh, using manual controls trying to defend and then press Q and, and use all the defenders and run and press you are bound to leave attackers open and that's why so many of you complain that your defending uh, is your defense is so open it's because you have been pressing and pressing okay okay let's continue the video so now um, bossing while he's on the ball so it's still me it's still me right okay so I'm, I'm not gonna be commenting on the way I attack okay this is a defending video so he's gonna counter again look at me I'm just using PK he's just sprinting back into position I don't care what he does at this point okay look at him now my PK of course once again he's Bridget and then uh, my Ramos had to be activated okay uh, obviously at the start of this match I haven't been defending well look at me I'm just using my midfielders and that's an interception okay most of the time if you be patient and control your midfielders right opponents are going to be making mistakes one you will be seeing this a lot in the video see I'm controlling my Jera trying to run back and makes a great tackle okay even though I'm not controlling other players and then I just made a quick counter a quick high through because he defended his defender is all over the place okay because he's been pressing and pressing uh, my Ronaldo makes a run in behind just a simple high through and that's a goal okay once again I'm bringing my drop bar back as you can see just now okay I'm controlling my midfielder still this time I'm controlling just Gerard he's doing all the tricks all the fancy stuff I don't really care it's basically I'm still not controlling my defenders and that's an offside as you can see okay so um, it's going to be very very solid if you use this defending method correctly okay now see I'm still on my Gerard my Jera is still sprinting back like a madman and he makes a mistake okay all right so uh, the way he charges in once again he's charging in this guy is charging in this guy is charging in you see there's so many people charging in, and your there's no shape to your defense and that is why it's so easy to break it down once again you look look at my Iniesta look at him look at him he he can okay let me just post it here now if you are a new player probably you don't have this ability yet but if you have been playing this game for a long time you should have that sense of anticipation of where your opponent is going to pass okay try and anticipate where they are going to pass and position your midfielders in between so that you can intercept okay right let's continue the video 
So uh, he's still pressing me, of course. When you press, of course, there are times that you will you come off, but there are also many times that when you get caught. So I'm just using my Iniesta and try and block off his path. He's gonna pass here, he's gonna pass here, I know. And then, of course, once my PK is bypassed, I'll control my defenders. Okay? Look at look at how I defend. My Gerard is still there. I, I know where he's gonna pass. My Gerard, I'm still controlling Gerard. And then Marcelo just coming out of nowhere on his own. Okay, I didn't even press anything, okay? I, I was just using my Gerard and um, my Marcelo basically just does all the work. Okay, now let's look at the way he defend again. So this guy's gonna be charging in, obviously. Okay, this guy is charging in already. You see? You see when you're charging in, and then look at my Iniesta. Once again, he's trying to get back into position. You see? Let, let's just go back a little bit okay this is a classic example of uh, a counter attack right so if i so uh, my iniesta was on the ball boom i got dispossessed okay the ronaldo get, gets the ball makes a quick pass forward now at this juncture if i were to go in with either ramos or village if i were to charge in with one of them which i believe a lot of you will do either the striker can turn and basically have a run through on goal or he could one two with Messi over here one two with Messi makes a duck makes a duck and Messi can return the the favor okay so what you want to do in this kind of counter situation is just just relax all right just relax use your midfielders and run back and just let your central defenders do their job as you, let's just continue to watch okay he's on the counter look I don't really I I didn't control this too at all. Okay, I'm just controlling my Iniesta so that he can make a run back to try and cover up this space. And they are just playing against the AI basically. Look at them. Okay? They're just playing against the AI and then he makes a mistake and it's an easy easy defending in the end. Okay, the counter attack was wasn't effective because I did not charge in. The important thing is never to charge him blindly. Okay? And look. His defender is sucked in already. Cross, head, go. Okay, once your defender is really suckled in, right? It's really there's so many other options that I can do. I, I mean I haven't been attacking well. Yes, I got this possess here and there, but that's part of part of the game. So once again the drop bar, um I didn't bring him back because I know he's not going to hide through, okay? So look, this guy is sucked in. Do you see the way he is sucked in? So maybe let me just bring it back a little bit. Okay, so once um, my Iniesta dispossess him, I pass the ball to drop bar, boom, right here. These two guys, I think he is pressing Q and tackle at the same time. Both of these guys were sucked into drop bar. Okay, I couldn't make a pass down for Ronaldo, but um, I, I think I did. Yeah, I think I did. And uh, it's just, there's just so many space. Look, look, this guy, he was sucked in totally. Ronaldo is open. Okay, he's stuck, sucked in and then makes a pass, he's totally gone ready. Drop bar will then make a run right here, okay? There you go. Now he's on the back foot. Now I can cross. And then I can hit and score, okay? Now you can see why so many of you are complaining that the defenders are stupid. Because you are trying to commit. And in real life soccer, they don't commit blindlessly as well, okay? They hold on to their position and only go in at the right moment so you see i'm still using my iniesta i i'm not panicking okay i'm still using iniesta i'm just letting him do his stuff okay and then back to my midfielders back to my village okay now he i'm in trouble already and that's when i press okay once it's in my box i'm sensing danger i press other than that no i don't press and it's been very very effective okay i'm able to keep the score line down most of the time okay let's take a look at another uh, another of his attacks there interception okay i hardly ever uh, hardly ever do anything and then uh, my defenders just doing the job for me basically right look my jera is here and then he makes a pass mistake try the true ball village is there to to mop it up okay and that is why i always say that i don't need very fast defenders because i don't commit okay Many people are fixated on fast defenders. I want fast defender, fast defender because they commit and they want to recover. But your central defenders are not supposed to commit. You, you get what I'm trying to say? So when they are not committing, of course they don't have to have they don't have to be very fast, okay? 
that's the finish shot fail I guess okay so he's gonna play for a quick counter again once again I'm just controlling somebody back you see I don't even press normally at this stage let me just go back for a minute here normally when it is on the counter I would think a lot of people will press boom boom here I would think a lot of people will charge in with their Marcelo the Marcelo will go in and basically pop back and either go here or here and you're killing yourself to be honest so what you want to do is just stay patient maintain your shape run back look now I've got three it's three on three he can hide through yes he can hide through but at least my Ramos is running back already his body language is running backwards Vidic is not yet uh, facing backwards but I'm sure later he will turn back so why do you need very fast defender when you're always on the front foot right okay look my, my Ramos is on him already and I'm still not charging in and then obviously my keeper has to come out for this true ball but I was alert my defense was my defense uh, kept their shape and that's why I didn't concede a goal once again see boom another mistake because he's three down he's panicking he's gonna make a lot of mistakes right, you just have to stay patient let them make their own mistake let them dive into tackles you see he's diving into tackle and that's another goal okay when they panic they start pressing they start leaving gaps you really don't have to stress too much over defending okay it's all about keeping your shape it's all about staying patient uh, try not to dive in unnecessarily only dive in when they are in your box when you want to block the shot obviously okay look i'm trying to block off his passing lane there now my iniesta is still gonna run back look 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 i, I think this is the last time i'm gonna post it I haven't even controlled my Ramos okay my Ramos is on AI right now and I'm on Iniesta but my Ramos makes the only interception look boom my Ramos will come in and make his make his own interception you might say he's world best he's level 20 but trust me every defender uh, decent defenders will be able to do that you don't have to control them they are going to do the job for you okay all you have to do is to control your midfielders and uh, let your defenders do their job and we are in the 90th minute and that's it that is about the end and uh, i hope you guys find this video helpful and um do drop a comment uh, about my defending method whether it's helpful for you don't forget to share and like and subscribe okay and uh, i hope you guys like this video and see you next time